In this example, the cost of producing X units of a product is given in dollars by C of X equals 250 plus 45X minus 0.2X squared, where X is greater than or equal to zero, so that the average cost function is always decreasing. This case corresponds to a situation in which increased production distribute the cost so that the cost per unit decreases. So we have to show that means it's already true. The key part here is the average cost function where the cost function is provided. So we're going to start with um, putting together to find the, the average cost function, which is C bar. It's formed by the total cost divided by X. In this case, it's 250 plus 45 X minus 0 0.2 X squared all divided by X. And um, we can simplify to be 250 over x plus 45 minus 0 0.2 times x. We are going to show that the average cost function is always decreasing. The part decreasing here tells us the derivative of the average cost function always less than 0. After we get the c, c bar, we're going to find the C bar prime, which is the derivative of the average cost function, or d by dx of 250 over x plus 45 minus 0 0.2 times x. When you find the derivative, again, the basic rule will be used for this case. Uh, 250 x is 250 times 1 over x, which is 250 times x to the negative first. To apply the uh, the power rule, the first term going to be 250 multiplied by negative 1, x to the power negative second, and then plus 0 as a derivative of 45 minus 0 0.2. The derivative of the average cost function will be negative 250. x to the power negative second becomes the reciprocal form in the power positive then minus 0 0.2. As we see, both terms have negative inside. So we say that since x is positive, therefore, any x greater than or equal to 0, the c bar prime, which is the derivative of the average cost, always less than 0. We can say that the average cost is always decreasing.